Good morning everybody and welcome to another Transformers review. This is Graham and today I had a request to do the Autobot Power Masters which I have in front of me now. Right, let's get started and we're going to start with this little fella. Now then, this is Power Master Getaway. Um, now then, I believe he is an escape artist of some sort, hence the name. Now then, he transforms into this pretty cool looking race car. Um, and like I say, I don't think many people are going to be fooled that this isn't a transformer because he's pretty basically designed. Um, but to be honest, I actually quite like the look of this one. Um, this one is a little yellowed in places and the stickers are falling off, unfortunately. Um, as usual, you can put a little, his little gun on top of him and connect it to him like that to give him a little bit of ad added play value. don't know if you can pick up where he's yellowed. I mean, I'm going to try and get a better body than this because this one is really rubbish, to be honest. Um, but unfortunately they seem to go for about 15 to 20 pounds for a body and I'm not going to pay that. I mean, because at the end of the day, even though this one's a bit dodgy, um, I'm going to stick with it until I can get one for a price I want to pay. Anyway, right, so, um, it comes with a little Power Master engine of course, I'm just going to put this one aside. Now this is him, this is Rev. Now this is him in his little engine mode. Let me see, there you go, you can see that there. Right, let's transform him quickly to robot mode, just pull the legs out, and down. And that's him there. Now then, like I say, with the big headmaster figures, the arms do move. But the legs don't move anywhere other than just round to the sides. Like I say. Now then I put the little robot insignia on him there, which makes him look a hell of a lot better, because they are very plain. Now then, at least on these ones, they did chrome the back of the engines. I don't know if you can see that there. The only one that didn't do that on, on was the it was Optimus Prime Power Master. Which was a shame, really, because I think it would look better. Because the Japanese one had the chrome and it looks ten times better. Anyway, right, let's transform it back into engine mode very quickly. Just like that. So it's very simple transformations. Now then, let's take his gun off. And we're going to slot this into his bonnet, which goes just there. Get around the right way. There we go. Now then, that's how he looks with his engine in. Now it looks pretty good from that view. Now it looks like he's some sort of souped up hot rod, which is always really cool. Right then, I'd better get on because I've got two others to do. We're going to transform him very quickly. We pull that out, flip the legs back, and he's got a little grey feet, which we're going to flip out. Like so. Now then, we spin this round. No, we don't need to spin it around just yet. We now make sure that the little when he's pushed in, he pushes the button because now the power masters obviously unlock, has a locking mechanism. It's just basically a little tab with a little another little tab just holding it in place, basically nothing too complicated. Anyway, we flip this down, and now we flip his little arms out up into place, like so. We get the chest, pull that out, spin it until it's in that position. Then we grab his torso, flip him round, and now. Get his little arms, pull them down. He has little hands tucked away, which is always good because it makes good use of space. And you don't have hands poking out and visible, which is always better for a transformer, I find. Otherwise, they're not really in disguise, are they? Anyway, right, we flip that back all the way down to it. Well, it can't go any further. Right, his little head is on a spring, so we push that in. Okay, there we go, and it flips all the way up. Now, I don't know if you can see his head, it is pretty plain. Um, to be honest, I really could have done more with that. But that is him. No, his, his robot mode's not too bad. I mean, his legs, well, none of the legs move on any of these. Um, but then again, that's generation one. But his arms do move bend at the elbows, allowing you to some sort of aim his gun at you. There we go. But that's about it. I mean, um, they don't look too bad, but obviously by today's standards, these are rubbish. But back then, and to be honest, I do like them. They look pretty cool when you're standing next to each other. Right, let's get away. Put him down. We're going to move on to Joyride. Now this is Joyride. He is a dune buggy. Um, what else can we say about him? I like the way you can put his little gun on top there because it does look pretty cool. Now then, he does roll well and he's got really good play value, to be honest, as a car. I mean, it's quite a simple little car. Um, yeah. Now I don't know too much about his character, um, mainly because... To be honest, I don't really care much for these characters. I mean, they're okay, but I was always more of a Decepticon fan. Unless the Autobots looked really cool, but these were just, you know, it's ordinary cars and stuff. And by then, I was growing up a little bit and not really into them that much. I mean, I never bought these as a kid. I bought Darkwing and Dreadwing, but they were just really cool. Anyway, right. Let's take his little gun off. And we're going to go to his little Nebulon companion. This is him in his little engine mode. Let me find out his name. I'm pretty sure it is Hotwire. 
There we go. And now, like I said, they've chromed the back of his engine in gold. I don't know if you can see that. This one is fading a little bit. All right, let me take him quickly to robot mode. That's him there. Not a bad figure. The same as all the others, his arms move. Right, there we go. Let's put him back into engine mode. Ready to connect to Joyride. Now then. Here we go. Again, he goes straight into the bonnet. Like that. And push him down until he clicks into place. There he is. Now then, that is him. Oh, not too bad. Right, let's take him to robot mode. Legs flip out. It has a little tab in here, which is going to spin around. Let me see that. And that is just going to hold these legs in place. You don't hold it too well, but just enough, I find. Right, now then, with the engine in place, it unlocks the mechanism to flip that back. Now then, that will just flip around there for a minute. We're going to spin the... Oh, that's a tough one. There we go, I'm going to spin the cab section round. So it looks like that, reeling his little head in there. Now then, that is basically it. Apart from, again, I've forgot to rotate his torso section round. Now then, that goes in there. Let me finish off moving that into place. And that is him. Um, this rope mode is probably the worst out of the entire lot. That does clip into there, holding it in place. I mean, you can hold his gun. But other than that, he's not really going to do a lot. His arms are pretty rubbish, as you can probably see. Um, but again, you put them next to each other, just standing there on display. They don't look too bad. Um, right, let's just move on. So we've got much time left. This is Slapdash. Now then, we can put his gun on top there, as with all of them. And now this one has another added feature. Whereas, this has an engine piece, because he transforms into an F1 car. Now then, this actually goes over his Power Master slot. Now, if we take that out... And then we put this one in. I believe he is called Lube. Now then, this is him. Again, some gold chrome on the back there. This is him in his robot mode. Though we've seen these a thousand times, or Nebulon companions always change the same. Now then, we're transforming back into the engine. And again, that little leg comes off. He's a bit dodgy, that one. All right, so that goes into that. Now I'm going to put him in. And that goes straight in there. Put that in until it clicks into place. If it doesn't, there we go. Nice sim. Alright, so say he looks with his little engine in. Now that has unlocked him. Now then on this one, we take off this piece, this little spoiler piece. So that's one side. Bit annoying when you have to do that all the time. But now then this one just basically breaks apart like this. Um, these big wheels at the back there raise up to become his arms. Like so, for that, his little hands. So, I'm going to flip them around like that. Now then, his legs, pull them down and they separate, like so. Now then, with that allows this front spoiler piece to come down and form his little waist piece. Now then, we're going to bring these up, and he has a little tab just there. I don't know if you can see that on that camera. But you push these up, and then the little tab just flips around and holds them in place. And that is basically him. Now he has his little power master there. Now then, what you do next is you take the spoiler piece, that has a hole on the back there, and that fits straight into there, like so. And then you take his little F1 engine, and that has two little holes in there, two little holes in there. Flip that in, push that in, so then it gives him, well, puts, at least it's somewhere to store all those bits, otherwise it always get lost. Now he puts a little gun in his little hand. And he has a fairly decent robot mode. Again, the legs don't move, but the arms do bend at the shoulders and the elbows, which is always nice, and he looks pretty cool. He's a little bit short, but... You know, oh, okay. overall I'll give these about a 7 out of 10 all, all told. Um, it'll be slightly better if Slapdash, uh, sorry it's not Slapdash, Joyride didn't have such a shit robot mode. But anyway, but this has been them, the Autobot Power Masters. Like I say, get them if you really want them, I wouldn't go nuts on them. But, I mean, Getaway looks pretty cool. Um, if you can find a really decent version, this one isn't very decent. But anyway, um, this has been Graham. And I hope you liked this review. Please rate it if you can. Um, and bye for now.